This is Vince at Practical Performance R&D. I'm currently uh, repairing and reinforcing this uh, E46 M3 and I thought I'd shoot this video to demonstrate why I claim the uh, the cracks at the or on top of the uh, front mounts of the RSAP, uh, RACP, sorry, um, as you can see there, they are predominantly a result of the uh, Sort of the tilting of the mount, the, the side to side, the lateral and front to rear forces, rather than the up and down, sort of the compression forces that some claim. So that's the, the right side, and this is the left side. And in this particular car, you can see that the, the left side is also cracked, which is not uncommon. It's just not very common on a car that has this kind of limited damage. Okay. Um, this car actually has been driven without the, uh, the V-brace that helps uh, support the subframe from the uh, sort of side to side, the lateral forces, uh, which actually, uh, I believe, further proves my point here. Anyway, um, as I'm going to be running this demonstration, I want you to uh, pay attention to how this part, the, uh, the top of the RACP, is going to be moving relative to this part which is the floor skin and I also want you to pay attention to the cracks here Let's see if I can get that a little bit closer without oh there you go without the light going out see we have a number of cracks here and depending on which direction I'm going to be moving um, this you're going to see how these cracks open and close I also want you to pay close attention to this Let's see if we can get that this crack here where the uh, where the weld sort of ends into the sheet metal, where the uh, heat zone ends, there's uh, yeah, there's a crack there. And the same thing on the other side, it's just not very, it's not as visible. Um, those cracks, they appear again from fatigue, of course, but from the, uh, the metal being uh, weakened by the heat, the local heat of the weld, which is why I'm pushing for welding as little as possible and, and pushing for the epoxy and rivet method okay so this is in this particular area but that's also true for the surfaces you know the welds around the underside plates and so on and so forth okay so i'm going to be moving under the car now first i want to show you my little setup here so i have a lever a pretty sturdy one a square bar a tall jack stand and I have a, uh, a rather long bolt there, to, you know, screwed into the uh, the uh, right front subframe mount. And I'm gonna see if I can put my my camera over here to give you a pretty good view of what what I'm gonna be doing here. Okay, so something like that. I'm gonna be pushing this down, sort of lifting the whole body. Pretty pretty, you know, I mean, pretty large force there. And then I'm going to be removing this assembly, okay, and using a tube, I'm going to stick this up on next to there, and I'm going to be moving this side to side. So this is going to be what I call going left, this is going to be right, this is going to be, hold on, forward, and this is going to be rearward. So no, I mean, it's, it's a little bit of a force, but not crazy, okay? And... For you to see this, we're going to go back in inside the cabin. I'm going to place the uh, the camera, my phone, on top of the right mount here. And see if I can get as much as possible into that view. I'm going to, I hope you can hear me now. I'm going to put my sort of lever assembly thing back again. There we go. And here we go. We start with... Up and down, I'm gonna be one, two, three, okay? I think that you're gonna be seeing a lot of movement there from that exercise. Now I'm moving on to my tube. I'm putting my tube on to the bolt. I'm gonna start by going left, okay? So one, two, three, and now right. One, two, three and now forward one two three and finally rearward one two three and uh, again 
you should have seen movement between the top of the RECP and the floor skin and you should have seen how the cracks open and close. If you didn't, please uh, view this video again and, and pay close attention. You may want to look at one one year sort of movement at a time. Run the video a couple of times. Okay, so what does the gusset cups do then? Well, they will tie the floor skin here. Well, actually, first of all, there's a, a thick bottom um, in those cups. Maybe I should have one of those here. Oh, we do actually, something like this. There's a thick bottom, okay, that will go on top of here. You will have ground down the welds, stop drilled and had a lot of epoxy here tie them together so we fix that it will also allow the the tube here and this plate that that rivets on top here obviously you remove all this uh, sound deadening it will have this tie into to the floor skin and help it i mean there's a pretty good leverage here and this part is pretty sturdy because there's a bend there <clears throat> and um, th thus help the whole sort of RECP thing here extend if you will the uh, the mounting piece up, up up to here it will also of course help a little bit of the up and down but again uh, that's not a huge issue uh, to further prove that actually I'm gonna show you over here on this car 